And now, an HBO comedy event. And I've been criticised in the past for having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the fact that you get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's simple science. I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life, but that's what happens. You get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off, OK? And th that's indisputable, OK? Now, the thing is, people think I'm having a go. I'm not, because I don't judge them. If I see a fat person, I don't make assumptions about him other than how they got fat. And this is the other thing. They not... No, wait, wait, right? <laughs> not only is that what makes you fat, People know that's what's making them fat. No one got fat behind their own back. <laughs> no one ate and, ate and went, what the fuck's that? OK? <laughs> it's not a surprise. It's a gradual process. You have loads of time to back out from this project. <laughs> uh, and he... Also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments and uh, injecting their lettuce with a million calories. That doesn't happen, OK? They know what to do. If you go up to a bloke and he's surrounded by cakes and pies, right, and you go, you know what's making you fat, don't you? He doesn't go, is it all the running? He knows what it... <laughs> but I don't make judgments, OK, other than how they got fat, OK? If I see a fat person, I don't go, oh, he's fat, therefore he's jolly, right? <laughs> a lot of them are miserable, aren't they? <laughs> if, if I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. That's rarely the case, OK? <laughs> So don't fall for that, OK? <laughs> a lot of them started eating because they had fuck all to lose. So, <laughs> no. But there's no stigma attached, because it, the, people don't even want to use the word fat now, because I think it's derogatory. It's a real taboo subject, so they use euphemisms. They go, oh, you know, Brenda, the f big girl... <laughs> what, seven foot? No, no. Not to. What does she look like? Brenda, you know... She She's the one who's clammy, even in winter. <laughs> Just say she's fat. Nothing wrong with it. It's their choice. It's up to you if you want to be fat. It's fine. But they don't. They go, you know, Brenda, that she's out of breath just standing up at her desk. <laughs> just... <laughs> but even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, right? No, I do, particularly particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> we don't come under the same constraints of society, whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be, size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've always got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? <laughs> they love high heels, don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm dead. I'm joke. Shut up. I'm not having a go. I'm just pointing out, you know... I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back, Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? <laughs> and there was this woman on there going, oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not, you know? You're, with, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it, you're gay, OK? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> that... <laughs> oh. Happy 16th birthday, son. Um, <laughs> this is Raoul. Right. Suck his cock. So <laughs> Sorry, father. Suck his cock. 16 now. Suck his cock. I I I'm heterosexual. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his cock. Come on. <laughs> right. I, I don't like cock, father. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? Ah! 
Suck his cock. I don't... Suck one cock. Suck... Uh, that's not sucking it, that's playing with you. Put it in your mouth. Put it... Uh, oh. No, t -t 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 have a go, you might like it. Oh. It's not so bad, is it? Oh. I fucking love these. <laughs> if that happened, then being gay would be the same as being fat. But it doesn't, so it's not, okay?